The main question on your mind is, where should I post my comic? And after a little bit of research and using my own comic as somewhat of a sacrificial lamb, I think I finally have some answers for you. I posted a video about my thoughts on Webtoon a few months ago, and the main question from a lot, a lot of you was, where do you go from here? And I actually didn't post my comic to the main alternatives to Webtoon like Tapas or other sites like it. My reasoning for this being that if you didn't like Webtoon for a lot of the reasons I mentioned, the comic posting alternatives would still have those same and similar issues. Instead, I directed my attention towards social media sites and one secret site I will share with you towards the end of the video. I know, I know, social media sites don't sound like a good alternative to Webtoon, but from what I've learned, the results are actually pretty pleasing. I would also like to mention that I talk about numbers and money here that are 100% achievable for each and every one of you who are trying to find a good fit for your comic. So the comic I'm using as my sacrificial lamb is the very same one I mentioned in my Webtoon video. Vinegar is a story about learning to recognize red flags in a relationship. The drama and romance aspects tend to draw people in, so posting this story to different platforms yields different results. I would like to try different formats and genres with these platforms, but I only have so many comics. I also think posting Vinegar and comparing it against Webtoon makes the analytics a lot more clear. For each site, there are different results in the outcome through commenting, likes, views, and money. Unfortunately, the exact numbers are gone on how it performed as I deleted all of my work from Webtoon shortly after posting my video a few months ago but I'll lowball my numbers for Vinegar just to be on the safe side. The pros of posting to Webtoon obviously mean that people who are to see your work are looking for a comic to read in the first place. Whereas with places like TikTok or YouTube Shorts, you are expected to be posting like a ton, a ton, a ton just to keep up with the following. So when you're posting to places like TikTok or YouTube Shorts, you're more likely to have a more sporadic viewership and you probably won't grow a following for your work unless you're posting like a million shorts a day. But the good thing about Webtoon is that people know you most likely will only update once a week, so your readers are prepared to wait. And that is basically the only pro I can think of, and if you want to see my con list, just go watch my full Webtoon video where I go into more detail about the platform there. For the analytics, obviously I did not make any money on Webtoon, so we don't need to worry about that here. As for views, I believe I had around 20,000 overall views for Vinegar, which sounds like a really big number and very scary, but seeing as how I got on average about 30 to 50 chapter views with comments being in like the three to five number range and about all the same likes for each chapter it leads me to question the actual validity in the overall view count i believe the reason for the number being so large is due to page views so regardless of if someone clicks on an episode if they visit the comic it is counted in that big grandiose number to make the comic look like it's doing very well i think webtoon was a really good place for Vinegar. The romance aspect made it really easily marketable for Webtoon, and as a result, I think it was promoted pretty largely. I want to also mention the fact that this was not my first comic I tried posting on Webtoon. It was my fourth. So by the fourth try, I had at least some know-how, so if you're working on your first comic and getting a little disheartened, don't be. My first attempts were exactly what I needed to be able to make the follow-through with Vinegar at the time. Overall, Webtoon could be better in my opinion. If you don't want to add romance to your comics just to have a better chance at getting your work seen by people on the platform, chances are your comic probably won't do so hot in the first couple of months. Webtoon seems like a very professional start for you to launch off of with your comic career, but viewers don't tend to leave the site to follow you elsewhere. Another thing to mention is having to keep up with the positive momentum your comic builds as you're posting on a regular basis. You should be very aware of your limitations as an artist. I know it seems easy in the start, but I do want you to be very mindful of pushing yourself too hard just to keep up with the schedule. I'm just not a huge fan of Webtoon, and I really don't want the message to leave you with to be just don't make a comic in the first place because that's not a very good way for you to grow as an artist. I just think there are better options than Webtoon. Which leads me to my next site, Instagram. Now, before you leave, hear me out. I know Instagram is kind of bad with promoting artists and their art, but I don't think it's terrible for promoting comics. I've been posting Vinegar to my Instagram account for a few months now, and I've been doing it how Webtoon would 
be posted once a week. The first thing I've noticed is that my account has had a steady growth of people since then. That as well as if your comic format is pretty full, like a lot of words or panels to a single page, Instagram is the best site out of all of these platforms to put longer form content. Now, I don't have crazy insane numbers to promise you guys, but I have achievable numbers. Since regularly posting Vinegar, my page has grown by about 50 people, and I am far from finishing posting there. I know that's not a crazy amount, but those 50 people are here to stay for your art and characters. The main thing that always stresses me out is getting people interested in my OCs and their stories, and with Instagram, I have actually started to grow a following who are interested in that very thing. On top of that, I get much more positivity surrounding my posts and my comics than I ever did on Webtoon. While with Webtoon, Vinegar episodes only got about 5 to 8 likes per episode, with Instagram it's easily over 30 for each chapter I publish. The difference between Webtoon and Instagram is that when you're done posting your comic or if you want to update your readers, the Instagram platform is more equipped for that. Whereas with Webtoon, your comic ends and, and rarely your readers will actually follow you to those other platforms when you're ready to jump the Webtoon ship. Unless you have an insane following from Webtoon, Instagram is much better for actually growing an audience. With the downsides of Instagram, again, there isn't too much room for potential to earn money. You could put a Venmo or a PayPal in your bio, but I don't think there's too much room to count on that. And there are so many bots. Oh my gosh, I, I can't handle them sometimes. They actually really bother me to the point of me going feral. With Instagram being oversaturated with a lot of bots, it can be really difficult to find people who care. I would say Instagram is a game of patience more than anything. I think that with some work and tweaks, Instagram could actually be a really solid site for comic posting. Now to TikTok. Funnily enough, I had a lot of hope for TikTok. I figured that with the picture swiping that had just been introduced, it would be perfect for comic posting. I was wrong. I was really wrong. I was so wrong, in fact, that I actually gave up with posting vinegar to TikTok entirely. I think where I went wrong is that there were too many small words to read, which sounds weird, but with the app, you need to capture attention and you need to do it quickly, and if viewers need to sit and focus on the words in your panel, then they just won't. So if you have a really word-heavy comic, or you probably couldn't fit, like, your comic panels to too well on a phone screen, I just don't recommend using TikTok. That being said, I have still seen a ton of luck with different comics on TikTok, specifically for comics without words where there's only one panel being shown on the screen at a time. I think comics in that type of format have the potential to do really well there. But again, I don't have a comic like that at this moment, so one of you will have to be the guinea pig on that and come back and tell me about it. As for numbers, I did the worst there as well. I only got a few followers here in there, but it's hard to tell if it was because they really liked Vinegar or because they saw a different one of my videos and followed it because of them. They performed really sporadically as well. I couldn't count on an average viewer count on like any of them. With an average view count of 60, with the outliers being in the 300s as well as the 20s, it was not something you could count on. There was also rarely any interaction with them either as far as comments or likes go. And you know, as you you could expect there is no financial benefit to posting my comic on TikTok. Now, for the interesting numbers and places to post your comics if your comics are more formatted like a book or like a graphic novel already. YouTube Shorts is the best site I have found to post my comics if I was looking for audience growth and just the sheer amount of people who will see my work. So with YouTube Shorts, right now the site is really pushing it to promote shorts and be able to compete with TikTok. So what I ended up doing was posting my already made TikToks to YouTube Shorts and they outperformed every single site, including Webtoon. With my top shorts getting 3,000 to 5,000 views, it was basically a sole deal for me that this was the best way for me to actually get my comic out there for people to read. And on top of that, the amount of people who were subscribed to me to keep themselves updated averaged at about five people per short. With an outlier, I believe my highest one got me like 13 subscribers. There was also a lot of engagement with my comics as well 
even outperforming Instagram. This is where I can finally start talking a little more about the financials regarding comics, and overall, posting my comic to YouTube Shorts made me $2.09, which doesn't sound like much, but as an artist, any little bit you can make is the most amazing feeling in the world. And you might be thinking, I can't make money till I'm monetized. It's just impossible. No, it's not. You get really decent subscriber rate from the shorts, as well as a good amount of watch hours for consistently posting them. The fact that YouTube is pushing shorts so ferociously means you have a much better chance at getting your comics seen than not. Now is 100% the time to start posting your art and comics to YouTube shorts for that exact reason. Stop sitting around and do what you love. The amount of return I saw for my shorts was insane. Though with YouTube shorts, posting your hard work doesn't feel as as professional as Webtoon would, what has Webtoon ever done for you? While Webtoon might feel like the leading site to go to, they just don't do anything for the benefit of their creators. Like, at all. At the very least, with YouTube Shorts, you can grow an audience that will watch everything you post and you have a clear way and potential to earn money for your art. For our final site, I decided to make a personal website to direct people to. It has all of my comics, including the ones I have never officially released and it's where I have been directing all of my traffic. And the really nice thing about a professional website is that you don't have to compete with a single person but yourself. It gives you the exact space you want to create for your own audience. I made my website in a few days using WordPress, and no, this is not a sponsored video, I just want to let you know exactly how I made mine so you can easily do the same for yourself if you would like. The next best thing is that you don't have to conform to other website rules, and you can more easily build the exact audience you would like. The only issue with a personal website is that no one is there unless you send them there. So in order to get traffic to my website, I posted my comic to the prior sites with a link to my website to telling people they could read the full comic on my website, which is a lot more work than just posting your comics elsewhere. With the analytics for the websites, you can install a plugin to be able to accurately gauge the correct data for the traffic coming into your site. I didn't know about this until about a week after my website being up and open to the public, so my numbers aren't 100% accurate again, but they are very close. For overall viewership, Vinegar had a total of 62 visitors since April 9th. Vinegar also only has one public comment, so as far as engagement goes, it's pretty sparse. That being said, I did some work to the site, so it should be easier to post a comment, but you know, I understand not wanting to jump through hoops just to leave a comment on some website that you may or may not visit again. And out of all of the sites I had tried, my website has also made the most money to date at a total of $7. Which, again, it doesn't sound like much, but if you're an artist and you've made zero money so far, making $9 and I believe two cents is pretty phenomenal. I have a donation icon at the bottom of each page so if anyone wants to donate they can and support the artist. And again I know this isn't a great way to regularly earn a monthly income on a stable basis but if you want to start out with numbers like these think about how much room there is for growth. So those are the websites and apps I used in lieu of webtoon and I am a hundred percent open to checking out any alternative sites, so feel free to leave me any suggestions for a site you're unsure of, and I will add it to my list of places to try. I think Tapas is next on my list, if I'm being 100% honest, and there's a few other, like, manga alternatives, but, you know, Vinegar isn't really manga, so I don't really want to post it there. We'll, we'll see. So overall, the intended result of what you would want for your comic is different for each place, but I think if I had to recommend a specific place, Instagram is most likely where I would continue to post my comic. Although there is no option to earn from Instagram, I think growing a steady and reliant audience is what I personally find the most important to me. At the end of the day, I want to have a positive impact on other people through my art, and I think Instagram is the best place for that. It's a pretty solid site, and things aren't subject to change as much as they would with YouTube Shorts. And since Instagram, out of all of the sites, also consistently gives me steady numbers, it's the only site I could count on. But hey, opinions can always change and maybe in a few months time I will have some more information for you and my answer may or may not be different. Thank you for watching, feel free to watch another one of my videos and I will see you in the next one.